we're going to go into marketing approaches, which is basically how marketing has changed over time. Um, it starts in the 1820s to 1930s, which is a production approach. Then 1930s to 1960s was the selling approach. And now we're in the marketing approach, but we're going to look at what those different stages mean. So the production approach focused on improving quality and quantity of manufactured products. And there was actually no marketing involved in this approach. So all that it was, was mass producing and mass selling. They were just making heaps of stuff because demand was always higher than supply and production, um, particularly because it was the industrial revolution. So if you're doing history, you would understand that they were just consistently producing and producing, um, but they didn't really care if the customers needed it, wanted it. They were like, okay, we're just going to make this, we're going to make this much. It is what it is. Um, there was no market research, so they didn't consider how, if do the customers like it, what color do they want, how many should we make. They just took orders, and if they got the order, they would just go and deliver it, and that was it. So the main thing about the production approach is that there was no marketing involved. It was purely mass producing and then mass selling it, just doing everything in mass. Now, the best case study you can use for this is Henry Ford. Um, and they pioneered the assembly line method of production and became the leaders of the production approach at the time. So they had this um, philosophy on high quality products that if they made high quality products, customers would buy them whether they needed them or not. And the famous slogan for the vehicle was that the customer could have any color he or she wanted as long as it was black. So you could have any Ford you want as long as it's black. And all that shows in the sarcasm and the irony there is that the customer's needs, they didn't care for them. They weren't taken into consideration. Um, they just knew that customers would buy them because um, the demand was always exceeding and um, they didn't really care at all for their needs or wants. So that's the most important thing. Um, it's got nothing to do with the customers, nothing to do with marketing. It's purely on production, hence why it's called a production approach. But like I said, guys, I don't expect you to get every single point down. I really want you to just leave away with these key takeaways. So just, you know, the main points of independence, that the two main goals were profit maximization and um, customer orientation, you know, the definition and, you know, satisfying needs and wants. And now that production approach is mainly about mass production and that there was no marketing. I don't need you to know like every single dot point. I really don't want you guys to stress um, while watching this. I'm very proud that you're watching this, especially if you're watching this as it comes out in the holidays and that you're spending your holidays watching this video but um just in general as you're going throughout the year please do not put too much pressure on yourself to get every single point down in business studies you will never need every single point you can still get such a good mark and still get um a 90 plus score without knowing every single point and if you know too much you're not even going to use it you can know every single dot point inside out and they still cannot assess all of that in the exam because the hsc exam is three hours and you know, you're studying this, these topics for four terms. So um, no pressure. Like I said, this lecture isn't for you to leave and be able to write a whole essay on marketing. It's more just to introduce you to it. And if you've already done marketing, hopefully this is just a refresher if you're still watching. Now, after World War I, production became more efficient and productivity increased. So there was a lot more high quality and mass produced products in the market and it had been going on like that for years and years. Um, so this is where businesses developed a sales orientated approach to beat competition, gain new customers because there were so many people mass producing um, and demand and supply was starting to become a little bit more balanced. So they had to kind of take a step forward to get new people and to kind of compete with each other. And that's where the selling approach comes in. So what the selling approach involved was increasing spending on advertising and communication systems so that they could reach a larger group of people. And they also hired salespeople who used high pressure tactics to convince customers to buy their products. So the sales reps actually created demand rather than researching what the consumer actually wanted. And this is the biggest difference between the selling approach and the marketing approach. Now with the selling approach, the salespeople were just trying to sell them. They're trying to convince the consumer that they need to buy the product and they were creating that demand. The demand wasn't just there. They were like creating it so that people believe that they wanted the product, but they weren't looking, okay, what do the customers want? Um, what's the trends right now? They still were just making products based on their own thoughts and it wasn't with much research or consideration for the customer. And then they were just using very high pressure tactics to then pressure um, and persuade consumers to buy their product. So a very common example at the time was door-to-door -door salesmen. Um, and they would go across door to door, kind of convincing different households to buy items, for example, vacuums. But again, it wasn't like, oh, I want a vacuum. Someone would come to your door, hey, want to buy this vacuum? These are all the features. And they're kind of creating that demand rather than the, con the consumers 
um, seeking, seeking that one and seeking that need. So the marketing approach and the difference with this is that the, the um, shift for it, like the focus shifts from the product to the customer. So in the selling approach, they're really focusing and forcing on selling that product. While in the marketing approach, it's purely about the customer and the marketing approach really links back to customer orientation and making sure they're at the center of the business. But research is conducted to determine their needs and wants and marketing strategies are tailored to suit. So in the selling approach, there's no research. They're just trying to persuade people that they need the product. But in the marketing approach now, they are researching, they're doing focus groups, they're speaking to different people, they're doing surveys, um, they're doing different tests to figure out what customers actually want. And then they're using strategies that are suited to the customers to sell them. So the marketing approach is massive on the customers. Research and development must take place before production and during and beyond to ensure the success of the product. Um, and this has all been influenced by changing social and economic conditions. So the marketing approach has a very big focus on corporate social responsibility, which is the growing public concerns over environmental pollution. Um, and it looks at the external pressure and demand for businesses to produce sustainable products. So that's when you think about um, kind of brands that don't animal test, for example. So with beauty, if you look at um, brands like Lush, that is a, an example of how they are putting customers' needs and wants who really care about sustainability and the environment first. And if that was your need or want, you're more likely to shop and support a business, um, support Lush than um, a brand at Mecca that might um, animal test, for example. Customer orientation, which is collecting information from customers and basing marketing decisions and practices on customers' wants and interests, and also relationship marketing. Now, relationship marketing is the long-term and cost-effective relationships with customers. Now, a lot of the time, they're doing this through reward programs. So I just used Mecca before. Beauty Loop makes me consistently go back to Mecca instead of Sephora. Um, but it also just things like flybys and even at coffee shops, you know, you get the 10th coffee free etc those reward programs are something that keep the customers in that relationship they keep them um, loyal to the brand and coming back and that really helps um, improve that customer satisfaction and again all of these all of these points link back to the customer so when you're looking at marketing approach it's all about the customer all about their needs and wants and supporting those when we go back to the selling approach it's very much about pressure and creating that demand to sell the product but not to market it they're selling it, they're convincing you that you need it, while the marketing approach is a lot more about the customer, figuring out their needs and wants first, and then adapting the entire marketing approach to them. And when we were looking at the production approach, no marketing whatsoever, purely just mass production. So that's the difference between.